co-host Colin Babcock here to interview Bruce Hag. Thanks for having me. Veteran, how you doing, Bruce? I'm doing good. Well, how are Bruce, you doing? Gee, uh, Bruce, I'm doing very good myself. Right. I wanted to bring you on the show and talk a little bit because you're from Connecticut, correct? Correct. I wanted to ask you because you enlisted in the Army. Correct. And that's, you know, that's a question that many teenagers my age have to face. They get the phone call. You know, they talk with the recruiter, and they talk, and, and you know, they're not sure about what they want to do. But you went ahead. You made that decision. You wanted to join the Army, and I just wanted to know why, and are you happy that you did so? Well, at the time, this was 1998, the recruiter called, and my dad had been in the Army when he was younger, and he told me to just go ahead, have, talk to the guy, listen to him, see what he had to say. So he, he sold me a, a good deal, and uh, I decided to enlist. And do you think you made the right decision? Yeah, pretty much. Definitely gave me more self-confidence, gave me leadership skills, uh, problem-solving skills that I wasn't using or didn't really develop prior to that. Team building, basically all the skills that really help you in, you know, in the real world. And you went over to Afghanistan uh, for two terms. You came back, you switched your job uh, over from... What, what was your original job over in uh, I was yeah. infantry, combat Inf arms. Infantry, and you switched to public affairs. Why did you make that switch? Well, when I joined the Army, again, it was infantry. I did four years in the regular Army, which is active duty full-time. I chose to come back home to Connecticut and go back to school for broadcast communication. So I joined the National Guard. I graduated in 2005, which was just a little bit before my first tour of Afghanistan. After I came back, I decided I wanted to continue in the broadcast field, and public affairs allowed me to do that. Uh, public affairs is basically the journalism side of the Army, so you have two career paths. You have broadcast or print journalism. So I chose to be what they call a 46 Romeo, which is a broadcast journalist. Okay. So now in public affairs in the Army, what sort of things did you do for them that enhanced like what you learned in your major as broadcast? I did uh, some news stories. You do a lot of uh, what they call archival footage. Mm -hmm. So for example, if there's a change of command ceremony, you might be tasked with recording that. So anything that I shot uh, on video or with a still camera, as a part of my duties, anybody can use. Except for like war interactions, like let's say, do you know like let's say a violent like war interaction, something like that, that's not open for the public. That would would be made available through what they call DIVIDs, which is the Digital Visual Information Distribution System. So you would have to have an account through DIVIDs. So like CNN, uh, ABC News, Fox News, any kind of news corporation would have access to that footage for their stories. So I want to transition a little bit. So we talked a little bit about your trips in Afghanistan, and now you're back here in Connecticut, and because you are a post-9-11 vet, you qualify for the Mission Continues, right. uh, their, yeah, their project. And can you tell me a little bit about what they do and uh, how maybe you won your award? Well, the Mission Continues is a nonprofit organization whose goal is to empower post-9-11 veterans to continue to serve after their service in uniform. It's generally working with other nonprofit organizations in their own communities. WPAA is a nonprofit organization whose goal is to foster communication within the community. Each year they have a number of fellowships. So I am in the Alpha class of 2014. Fellowship. There were over 700 applicants for this class, and 76 were selected. 76 out of 70 out of 700. Yes. And you were so, one of them. Yes. Wow. That's a great accomplishment. It's quite an honor. It originally started with Susan, the director here at the studio. Through our conversations, she realized that I had finished my term of service and was out. And she had been looking to sponsor a fellow for some time. Mm -hmm. So she told me about the program, 
and led me to the website so that I could apply. And then there's a number of interviews. Mm -hmm. It's all over the phone, obviously, because the Mission Continues is based in Minneapolis, and here I am in so Connecticut. They, yeah, I bet there's soldiers everywhere they, they right. have to call. Uh, yeah, uh, over the course of, we'll say, seven years, because it started in 2007, they've had over 900 fellows in 49 states plus D.C., so after all that, you've got that, and you're now here working at WPAA with Susan. Uh, how's that been? How's that transition been? How did she bring you in here uh, to the station and get you working right away? I was originally here as a user. I have a public access show myself called Center Ring, where we discuss uh, shows in local professional wrestling entertainment. And Do you work behind the scenes on that, or are you on the scenes as a reporter and one that, like, goes to the event, sees what happens, and then talks about it with your partner on it. I am usually in the production booth. So I operate all the switches and the camera movements, whereas my partner is the host, the fog man. On occasion, I will be part of the panel, but I'm usually more behind the scenes. Well, Bruce, we're running out of time here on the show, so I want to ask you one more quick question. Do you think that every teenager should enlist for the Army? No. It's definitely uh, a good way to learn a job skill that will translate into future life, but it's certainly not for everybody. But I would certainly encourage anybody who's thinking about it to definitely look into it and talk to a recruiter. And there it is, folks. Bruce, thank you very much for coming on the show. Pleasure thank you for having me. You. And congratulations on your mission continues. Thank you. Good luck at WPAA. <laughs>